Even after 20 years, sometimes I'm surprised at how strong houses have to be in earthquake country. I'm Dave Edwards with Earthbound Homes. And I'm Brett. And let's take it away. Brett, uh, we're sitting in the light well and in the basement of the Ceriza house. And I'm literally standing on number six rebar, four inches on center in the light well. And we're looking at one inch hold down bolts. So explain to me a little bit about what we have here and why their mat slab is actually two foot thick here instead of just 16 inches thick and why we have these giant hold down bolts. So this is the exterior of a house and you don't have any wall continuously along here. It jumps over six feet to the next wall. So this has to be a shear wall and has to be very strong. This originally had steel I-beams on top. The floor to floor connection was a welded connection. It was a very strenuously built wall. So these are HDU-14s that we've got here. It's a one inch um, all thread that goes down to a, a washer on the bottom that holds it in the concrete for embedment. This will go from here, it'll go to up to the next floor. There'll be a floor to floor connection where another HD connector will be. It'll go all the way up to the third floor and to the roof so that this design is made, this wall is designed to be a big giant shear wall inside of the house. So because we took the steel out, we required uh, these really, really strong uh, shear walls, but we got rid of the steel, which was a thermal break sure. between the inside of the house and the outside of the house which meant that really we're dramatically reducing the efficiency of this wall because of the steel in it. So we've actually saved money by replacing all that steel with some hold down bolts. Sure. And because the footing would have been the same size anyway, because we have a three story wall that's supporting all of the shear for this entire wall. And it's only 12 feet long from there to here. This is all fenestration here. So all doors. Yeah. So really again, uh, an example of how just looking at the materials that we're using on these projects and paying attention to what our options are, getting rid of thermal breaks, getting rid of structural steel, so lowering our embodied carbon, lowering our operational carbon, lowering the potential for any condensation that happens on the inside of the building, and lowering the price can happen just by being really, really diligent about making sure that materials that we use, we have to use in these projects. Right. If you're interested in learning more about building science or about the Ceriza project, hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way. Perfect. Good. I don't oh. want to do a retake of that now.